Auto so Client has been updated to the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition together with a bunch of other updates as well as you can see. So to get this you want to head over to their official Discord server which is linked down in the description below. Also in the description is going to be my official Discord server which contains this client as well as a bunch of other ones and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, to download it, you want to head over to their download tab over here, and then you can either choose to download the standalone DLL files or the Odorso launcher. For this video, I'm going to be using the launcher, and I can download that by simply double clicking on it just like this, and there we go, the download will automatically start. So here in my downloads, I have the Odorso launcher, and I can simply double click on this like so, and it's going to open up. You can find their Discord server on this button over here. You can visit the settings where you can, if you want, use a custom DLL as well as change a few other things. And of course, click on launch over here and that's automatically going to open up Minecraft with Odorso injected. Here I am inside of Minecraft and I will now show you exactly how to use this. So as you probably already saw from the notification you got when you injected it, you can press on L and that is going to open up this area right over here, which is the click GUI. This contains all of the utilities that this client has. You can click on this green button to turn on the utilities and click on it once again to turn them off. You can actually click on this icon over here and that is going to open up this utilities custom settings area. As you can see, each of these utilities have different customizability options um, and some of them do have more customizability than others. If you want to add one to your favorites, you can simply click on this star over here as you can see. And if you're not sure what one of the utilities does, then you can simply hover over it just like so and you'll get a brief description. For the rest, it should be pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, if you're looking for something specific, you can look for it right up there. Then on the left side over here, we have the config manager where you can create as well as enable and disable configurations. In this client settings area, you will find the general settings for the click GUI. As you can see, there isn't a lot of things here right now, but you can choose different um, categories of settings for the click GUI, which as you can see, enables quite a lot of customizability. For the rest, we also have a HUD editor, which I'll get to in a second, and this button right over here will let you copy the client path, which is exactly where you can find all of the configs and stuff like that that this client has saved. Anyways, going back to this modules area, there are some types of modules that can show up on your screen. An example of this is the armor HUD which displays your armor. There is for example also the CPS which displays your clicks per second. There's a combo counter for example. I'm just going to enable a few of these as you can see. And now closing out of here there's a few things on my screen. In the bottom you can see the combo counter and then there's an FPS counter as well as a CPS counter. Anyways I don't really like the locations they're in, and so I can press L to open up this area again, go over to the HUD editor, and here, as you can see, I can drag around all of these utilities. It has snapping, which is fantastic, of course, not only to lines, but also to the side of your screen. And maybe I want my combo counter to be down here, together actually with my clicks per second counter, I'll have that right over there, and I want my FPS right up there in that corner. Just as an example, right? Put everything where you want it, then you can press on escape to close out of there, or of course just press on this back button. And now, as you can see on my screen is all of the utilities that I have enabled, except now they're actually in the place where I want them to be. For the rest, there of course are also utilities that sh don't show up on your screen. For example, the zoom, which zooms in as you can see, and there's quite a lot of other ones as well. Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.